of the best ways to improve your ukulele strumming is to land on a noodle tune, one that you like. Now, a few years back, I started playing this little, every time I picked up the ukulele, I would just play this kind of thing. So it was a noodle tune. I liked it because it sounded kind of sweet. It was easy to play. I just mess around with it. becomes part of you. And the thing I like about these particular chords, F minor 7, F minor 6, C sharp major 7, C major 7, is that it has these fancy jazz chords that kind of come from two different places. You know, you play a regular old F. It's pretty much right there. It's you got a feeling it's right there. And even if you play it F minor, it's a little spooky, but it's still it's still in one spot. But you add that seventh, all of a sudden it's coming from who knows what all these different things are happening, and that makes it more interesting. Now what we're doing in this particular chord sequence, we're walking this. E flat note, when we play F major 7, F minor 7, we've got this E flat note, and then it becomes a D note, and then it becomes, and everything else is staying the same. We're just walking this string, the C string down from an e, e flat to a D, to a D flat, and then we resolve to uh, this C major 7. So. This A string gets knocked down from the C to a B, which is the major seventh in the key of C. So we're playing in the key of C. Now, the really cool thing about this sequence of events is that it, it's uh, intriguing enough that you can mess around with different strums and not get bored. And, uh, and it'll help you to, you know, sharpen the corners of your strumming. And so I'm just, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to put this, the, the chord diagrams up on the screen as, we, as they come around. And I'm going to show you how I play it. There's lots of ways to play it. I mean, the book might just show it like this. F, F, major, F minor 7 chord. I like to use my thumb. I, I, I use the thumb a lot when I play the ukulele. It's just so much easier to go over the top, especially when you play the F minor chord. Very easy. I read it back when back college 50 years ago. I, I saw a, a ukulele lesson book that said, never use the thumb. And I said, why? <laughs> why not? So I use the thumb. And you, you do anything you want, but find a way that every note gets played nice. So we're just going to go one, two, three. So that's the basic idea. Now I'm just, for this lesson, I'm just going to play all kinds of things, all kinds of strums. But I'm going to keep that one, two, three, two, two bars of each, each chord.
So uh, the idea, you can do anything you want. Just keep, but to practice the rhythm. Be able to tap. It'd be a good idea to tap your foot while you're doing two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. mess around. Try your different strums. If you're working on a strum, try to sneak it in there. Just maybe one bar. Uh, go in and out of strum. Give yourself permission to horse around. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun and you're just goofing around and in the meantime your ukulele playing is getting better. And what you will find is that your ability to go in and out of different strums and accent different beats and and you know, show personality in here, a little over here. You can do that. You'll find yourself doing it automatically. And that's one of the greatest pleasures of playing music is you, you get to hear it for the first time yourself. So now I'm going to give you one more thing. That sequence of events, you can do that. Start up here. Most of the ukuleles they have a dot at the fifth and the seventh fret, go up there and do exactly the same thing. And, and, and watch this, what happens. See? that you're playing. You know, I said, well, it's just a noodle tune. And well, keep playing it, keep playing it. And she started to add stuff to it. Next thing you know, we had ourselves a little jazz number. We dressed it up. We never knew how we were going to play it because we just sing chords over and over again, but we never knew what we were going to do with it. We just kept messing. We improv. Great way to improv. We would call it because we were in the garage and we had a bowl of salsa and potato chips or corn chips. We, we decided to call that to uh, garage salsa. So, garage salsa makes a good noodle tune if you want to try it or find one of yourself. But that's a, that's a good idea. You can always just do. Mess around. Have fun. 